in this tutorial, you'll learn how to link Bootstrap 5 in your HTML. So I want to start uh, with Bootstrap. Now, before we can even start that, we need to make sure that it's actually included in our HTML. I'm going to close the sidebar here. So you can go to the Bootstrap website. You can search for Bootstrap or Bootstrap Docs. Now, when you do this, you have to be careful because there's a bunch of different links here. The first link that I'm getting here actually links to an older version, 4.1. I'm actually going to use 5.2, but here you have 5.0, for example. So that's also something that you want to pay attention to. So this is actually the website I want. It also looks different from the other versions. And and here they also show you how to include it via via CDN, right? So we've discussed the other uh, way of doing it. You can change the source files like that. You can change their variables and things like that, which is not going to be necessary here. This is for the CSS. However, some components like the, uh, well, modal, for example, here, when you click on the button and you open the modal, the accordion uh, component, they have right they react to clicks so bootstrap needs to be able to access the the click event with javascript and then do something so we need to include javascript here as well now when you include javascript um, you can do it at the end of the body or you can do it um, in the head these days but when you do it like this you do have to include the defer attribute for uh, well that's simply optimal so be careful um, with just putting a script in here, linking to an external uh, script, because it will block parsing the rest of the page, except if you include defer here, right? So now we have both parts of Bootstrap. Now, very quickly, you may be wondering, why do we have this weird integrity? Well, this integrity is basically a hash of um, what the content should be, right? So the browser is going to make a network request to get this style sheet here, right? But this server may be hacked. And when the browser, you know, tries to get the content there, it may send something malicious back, right? So here with this integrity attribute, the browser will only apply it if this, this is a hash, if the hash of what we get back is the same as this hash, right? A little bit complicated, but it's basically a security mechanism. Same goes for cross origins, also for security. We don't want to send any uh, cookies or like uh, identifiers to um, that server when we make that request, right? That's what that means. Not really important. Most developers don't know what it is, so don't worry. But maybe you were wondering about that. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon